Well, this is an amazing honor. Uh, I have been working in the field of glaucoma for 25 years now, um, but I sort of entered into the field of research in a backwards way as I was in the field of just clinical work for nearly 15 years. And then only in the last 10 years or so have I been involved in research. So to receive this prize as a result of my work with the Schaefer Grant is truly an amazing honor and really shows that innovative research can move things forward. We can move the needle and we can make things better for our patients by understanding this very complex disease. Oxidative stress refers to the way cells are managed and essentially damaged by chemicals that are released or are uh, formed from oxygen. So if there's too much oxygen, too much of a good thing, there's these compounds called reactive oxygen species which cause damage to cells. And it has been known for many, many years that oxidative damage in the cells of the drain of the eye, the very specialized cells of the trabecular meshwork, play a role in the development of this disease. And this all started from our research looking at oxygen levels inside the eye. We actually took a probe and measured oxygen within the eye. And our discoveries showed that certain surgical procedures, namely removal of the lens of the eye and removal of the gel in the back of the eye alters the levels of oxygen in the eye and specifically in the area of the drain of the eye. And we propose that this may be a factor as a source of these oxidants and reactive oxygen species that could damage these cells. We also found that there's an increase in oxygen in African Americans in all locations of the drain of the eye and throughout the front of the eye. And we question whether this was also a factor as to why African Americans develop glaucoma at a much higher rate with a much higher risk of blindness in their life. So our research has actually now taken another step and through the funding from the Schaefer Grant, we have been fortunate to refine our techniques of uh, removing these, this area of cells, the trabecular meshwork cells, and using these specimens to look at how the genes are changed in glaucoma in the tissue. So we know about genetic differences in the blood, the whole genome, but now we're learning about genetic differences in this very specialized tissue. And we've now identified a protein that is expressed differently in people with glaucoma and African Americans with glaucoma. And so this could be a source of therapy, potentially even gene therapy someday, to alter that expression. I became interested in glaucoma when I was a resident at University of Illinois, and I, I like the long-term aspect of it. I love the continuity of care. I love seeing patients forever. I'm not into performing a surgical procedure and never seeing them again. So it is that through that long-term relationship, I think we can really get to know our patients and help them. And so that is how I came into the field of glaucoma and I've had incredible mentors. I think mentors are what make us who we are. The concept of standing on the shoulders of giants and after coming to St. Louis and Washington University, Bernie Becker was the father of glaucoma, just as Dr. Schaefer was out here on the West Coast. Dr. Becker was in the Midwest and has uh, an incredible legacy of other glaucoma specialists spread across the country. Curiosity was really the aspect that um, helped me to go down a path of research and want to discover more about how we can treat glaucoma, how we can take better care of our patients.